Advisory panel to the CDC meets tomorrow as it decides the fate of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. It was paused after a small number of rare blood clots was reported in people who got the vaccine. Medical reporter Liz Bona shares why providers say it's important to consider both the benefits and the risks of the vaccine. Hey everybody, no matter the outcome, many of those who deliver vaccines say the pause itself in the J&J &J vaccine already adding to vaccine hesitancy. Here's a few things providers want us all to know if you're feeling concerned. The FDA and the CDC safety monitoring worked. It did its job. Susie Francis says when it comes to any vaccine, it's much like a medication, say to treat cancer or heart disease. Is there's always a risk. There's always a risk for any medical treatment, any surgery, any medication. Things are not risk free. That means you have to weigh the risk of complications, in this case from the virus. COVID itself gives you a high risk of clotting. Um, there's something that goes on with our coagulation when we get COVID, and that's why we've seen so many things like amputations with COVID or um, stroke and things like that. Versus the benefits of good health. The other thing to consider, however, is that stepping up to get any vaccine, even if you choose the Pfizer or Moderna shot, as Eric Maltner did at this Kentucky vaccination site. I want to uh, protect myself and other people and be safe. You still help, not just with protecting yourself and others, but you help us get back to the need for fewer protective measures against the virus. When you're in an area that has that degree where the, where the risk of infection is so low, obviously you're going to see pulling back on many of the restrictive public health measures that we all want to go away. Now, the other thing to remember is that this shows us that nobody wants to give anyone the impression that we would ever use a vaccine that is inferior to our high public health vaccine standards. And those committed to this say no matter what, the convenience of a one-shot dose, they are not going to relax any safety precautions. I'm medical reporter Liz Bonus. We'll throw it back to you.